Welcome, my friends. Welcome tonight to the fourth installment of Wednesday Evening Musical. Uh, I noticed today that my hair is getting really long, and I'll bet I'll bet yours is too. <laughs> I uh, I've been looking at, of course, the things that people are are writing on the on the post, and there's a lot of very inspiring and wonderful and thought-provoking material available, and then there's also just a lot of flat-out ranting and venting that's going on. So tonight I thought I would kind of explore that with songs of inspiration and exasperation and acknowledge everybody out there. I'm going to start with inspiration. And this is a song that was inspired by some words that were brought home from, they were found on a wall at Clark Chapel at Pomfret School near where I live. And they were written by my visiting friend onto the blackboard of the old schoolhouse where I live. And they lived there for a few months, and one day I was sitting there looking at them, and suddenly I heard this little tune kind of crooning out of the words. And so I put it, I put the words and the music together. This was written, the words were written by Henri Frederic Amiel, a Swiss philosopher from the late 1800s, and they're really, really good words for right now. Dear friends, we know that life is short and we do not have much time, much time, much time to gladden the hearts of those who travel with us. So be swift to love, so be swift to love. Make haste to be kind So be swift, be swift to love So be swift, be swift to love Make haste to be kind Dear friends, well, for a long time now, really since the news cycle had a 24-7 existence, we've seen a proliferation of, of experts because uh, they have to fill up the time somehow with uh, telling us what we don't seem to be able to figure out for ourselves. So that's what inspired me to write this next song. I was, I was in a personal fit of ex exasperation at the time. And right now, we really have... We really have a preponderance of opinions, a, a, a supernumerary of, of suppositions going on, and, and the experts get pitted one against another like a cockfight or something on the, on the news programs. And how do you figure out what's real information and what's just bloviating? I heard a great quote a while ago that, that goes, the difference between genius and stupidity is genius knows its limits, right? So how I sift through it all is if I hear somebody say, be willing to say, well, we have this information, but we're not sure. Or even uh, to, to more relief, to hear them say, I don't know. And that's where I'm leaning at this point as the, as the more viable of the opinions. And so this is my song trying to help sort it all out. There's a part for you in it. As you sit there on your couch or wherever you're located at the moment, between each verse and chorus, and I want you to sing on the chorus too, if you like. You just go a, a vamp that goes da 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 da. da. There you are on your couch, just going da 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 da. That's a great image in my mind. This song is called "I Don't Know." The composure on the talking hand could put your mind at ease, assuring us with manly tones of inevitable victories. The stats are in, the stars align, the planet's on our side. Just follow these instructions, then he stopped and stared wide-eyed. And maybe it was fairy dust or a ray from outer space, but a look of pure confusion washed across his startled face. Then a sigh of deep relief made his body tremble so. As he softly murmured, I don't know. Here we go. Da 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 da. I don't know. Don't you wish you'd just say, I don't know? Turn off the mic and say, I gotta go. You're getting. 
guess is just as good as mine And then just maybe you and I Could start to work together Talking heart to heart Remember honesty's the real true art The question never is the crime Da 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 It was yet another expert With a blueprint for success Blathering through the airwaves I was listening more or less Washing clothes and paying bills I was comforted to know That someone had the larger problems Handled, arranged, and so I was stunned to hear his booming voice Falter and subside And listening very closely Now my shock I could not hide For when next he spoke his voice Came very tearfully and low I'm so sorry But I really just don't know Da 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 I don't know Don't you wish they'd just say I don't know Turn off the mic and say I gotta go Your guess is just as good as mine And then just maybe you and I Could start to work together Talking heart to heart Remember honesty's the real True art, the question never is the crime. Da 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 da. So let's convene a conference with the title, I don't know, a celebration with no agenda of heated con or pro. First one person talking, then another, think of that. Listening and responding, each in turn, a thoughtful chat. Well, there'd have to be some women there and children too, of course To bang the dum drum when someone gets on their high horse For the answers to the deepest questions only seem to show After a healthy round of I don't know Da-da-da-da-da, I don't know Don't you wish they'd just say I don't know Turn off the mic and say I gotta Your guess is just as good as mine And then just maybe you and I Could start to work together Talking heart to heart Remember honesty's the real, true art The question never is the crime Da 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 Oh come on one more time Da 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 I don't I heard a great definition of expert a while back. X, an unknown factor. Spurt, a drip under pressure. So I knew this wonderful woman back in the 1980s named Susan Bright from Austin, Texas. She was a, a writer, a poet, a thinker, uh, an activist. She started a wonderful feminist press called Plainview Press. And I wanted to do a piece of hers because this, to me, perfectly walks the line between inspiration and exasperation. And it's especially relevant for people who have been doing a lot of baking at home these days. Ice water. Two silver knives to cut through the flour and shortening. Add salt. It is an old art. Do not work late into the night with sleep nipping at your sleeves. You will fall off. Wake up at 3 a.m. to a room full of smoke. Two black discs in the oven. Bad smell. Do not think about business or the wave of darkness spreading through the arts. Do not think about depression looming on the horizon or the rhetoric and nonsense our leaders toss into its mouth or the prospect of revolution in America. Concentrate on the art of pie. It is a good art. Ingredients spread through the house like a layer of snow. Later people say, oh, pie, pie, we love pie. It is a good art. Fill pie with ingredients at hand, fresh fruit, cans of things, cheese. Add it to a feast. Eat leftovers for breakfast the next day. The celebration begins again. Pie filling the recesses of the body. Exhilaration. Pie is an old art. If we lose it, infants will wither in their mother's stomachs. Writhe at sunken nipples. Men will lose direction. U.S. steel will manufacture rubber. And the pillars of society will flop around like spangles on a half-mast. 
flag. Pi, the planets are lined up. Saturn, Uranus, Mars, Jupiter, pulling earthquakes, pulling poison from beneath the surface. Pi, roll out on a layer of wood and flour. Pi, flute the edges, pour apples and cinnamon and spices. Pi, zen, concentrate on the art of pi. The rites of passage pull us through the gates of depression and war. We shall make pi, cannot resist. We shall celebrate Christmas, Thanksgiving, Fourth of July. Holiday shall find us traversing the continent in search of heritage. No one makes pie like mother does. <laughs> no one says one pie should represent all pies. Pie is like a thumbprint. Some are sour. Pie is silent, making only a light simmering noise as it bakes in the oven. It spreads scent gently into our hearts. There is ceremony as pie is lifted out of the heat. They gather, oh pie. The clutter is swept away. Space around pie is brought to sharp focus. Light pours down on pie. Concentrate. The art of pie is an old one. Try to imagine life without it, like the unveiling of a great painting, breaking a champagne bottle over the bow of a ship going off to see the ceremony as a cornerstone is laid. Pie, do not roll the crust too thick. Roll gently or the center will unfurl. Rub extra flour on the rolling pin every fourth stroke. Remember these things. Create pie often so the art is not lost. Do not forget temperature. Cold is essential, then heat. You must have an oven. Cannot make pie over an open fire or in a barbecue pit. Be firm with those who insist pie can be made in a crock pot or on the back window ledge of a Pontiac left out in August sunlight. Respect the rules of pie. The Art of Pie by Susan Bright. I ran into uh, a friend that I hadn't seen in a couple of years a while back and we sat and had lunch together and in the space of a couple of years, so, so much had happened to both of us that we weren't aware of. Illness and death and divorce, and here we were looking healthy and cheery and radiant, having lunch together two years down the road. So we were laughing about making it this far and, and hugging each other goodbye. Remember when we used to do that? we just haul off and hug somebody. And, and we were laughing, and I said, well, you know, whatever doesn't kill you makes you wish that you were dead. And my friend said, sure, you should write a song about that. Well, as a songwriter, I, I hear that a lot, and uh, I have this, this little, I don't say it out loud, but a little snarky voice inside me that always knee-jerk responds with, well, you should write a song about that. But a couple of hours later, a song came to me, and I had no idea uh, from where or exactly how it was going to turn out, but it became clear early on that, um, that nothing says triumph like a polka. So I wrote this song, which I call Strong Woman Has a Bad Day Polka. And as per the story I just told, you already know the chorus. There's something gnawing at your mind Like a dog upon a bone It's with you in a crowded room Or when you're all alone Was it something on the radio Or something that you read Whatever doesn't kill you Makes you wish that you were dead da 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 a tarnished glow you're fading like a flower the men think you're invisible what's happened to your power the years have flown but here's the thing that sticks inside your head whatever doesn't kill you makes you wish that you were dead da -da 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 They're seizing all your assets They broke into your house and stole your CDs and your cassettes They sold you all those supplements Their slogan should have read Whatever doesn't kill you makes you wish that you were dead da 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 You forgot to have a family Now you have nowhere to go no one to lay a guilt trip on to take you in and so You order up a Cosmo toaster solitude instead Whatever doesn't kill you makes you wish that you were dead da 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 da
and slept in days Only when you'd drive your car You'd settle for a nightmare Cause at least it's not the bar So here's some words of comfort As you crawl into your bed Whatever doesn't kill you Makes you wish that you were dead But whatever doesn't kill you Makes you wish that you Strong woman has a bad day, polka. I'm going to leave you with a couple of songs of inspiration. My, my old 12-string guitar, <clears throat> which was built in 1987 by a luthier from Toronto and a wonderful musician himself named uh, William Laskin. <clears throat> I've had this for a long time, and it can handle both inspiration and exasperation, I have learned. Oops. A little slippage here. That polka knocked it out, I tell you. Huh. So if you feel like joining me, at the end of each line in the first verse, I sing, bless us both, set us both free. At the end of each line in the second verse, bless you both, set you both free. And in the last verse, bless us all, set us all free. Well, I am a dreamer and I am a doer. Bless us both, set us both free. And I am a maker and I am a user Bless us both, set us both free And I am a lover and I am a hater Bless us both, set us both free And I am among you, yet I am alone Bless us both, set us both free Listener, bless you both, set you both free. And you are a baker, and you are an eater, bless you both, set you both free. And you are a worker, you are a player, bless you both, set you both free. And you are a blind one, yet you are a seer, bless you both, set you both free. Oh, 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 all going, bless us all, set us all free, and we are all smiling, and we are all crying, bless us all, set us all free, and we are remaining, yet we are all changing, bless us all, set us all free, and we are all living, and we are all dying, bless us all, set us all free. Finally, a song by the incredible and everlasting Pete Seeger, a song that's traveled with me about as far as any song over my 46 years of making music. Old oh, devil time I'm gonna fool you now Old oh, devil time You'd like to bring me down I feel low My lovers gather round And help me rise To fight you one more time Oh, devil pain You've often pinned me down
down You thought I'd cry And I'd beg you for the end But at that very time My lovers gathered round And helped me rise To fight you one more time Oh, devil fear You with your icy hands Oh, devil fear You'd like to freeze me cold But when I'm afraid That's it for songs of inspiration and exasperation. I could go on and on, but for this Wednesday evening musicale, that's it. If you like what you heard, please visit my website, www.claudiaschmidt.com, and you will find a, a virtual tip jar there if you would like to contribute. That would be really great. I would appreciate it, and hopefully we'll all feel good as a result of that. Um, it's, it's a very confusing time out there, I know, and I, I just remembered a quote from... Oscar Wilde that, that I'm keeping in mind, trying to sort everything out. He said, be yourself. Everyone else is taken. So keep on being yourself in this strange time that we're in. And uh, see you next week at Wednesday Evening Musicale and beyond. Thank you so much. Blessings. Bye-bye. <laughs>